Hello everyone and welcome, my name is Ali A and today for you guys I've got the New Town 2025 multiplayer map gameplay trailer for you guys. A lot of you may have seen this already but I wanted to break it down and show you any additional details within this video to make sure you don't miss out on anything at all. Just to make it clear to you guys, a lot of you when you first saw this and when I first saw it thought this doesn't look like a place from 2025 and that's because it's not, it's simply how somebody from the 1950s or 60s would imagine a building or a place to look like in 2025, that's why it looks a little bit different but enjoy the trailer and I'll be back in a minute to point out everything you've missed. Confirm target guns on. So there we go guys, our first look at the multiplayer map Newtown 2025. Let me know if you've pre-ordered Black Ops 2 yet or not, because if you have done so, you'll get the map for free. If you haven't done so, there's no confirmed way of actually getting the map. So pre-ordering is definitely your best bet. Let me know if you've done so in the comment section of this video. But the first image here is an overview of the map, of course, as you can see the background and the aesthetic feel of the map has been changed to match the 2025 feel. You can also see the little metal bunker on the left there with one of the mannequins or one of the women trying to get into it. Um, if you've seen one of my previous zombies videos from about a month or two ago now, I talked about the idea and the theory that perhaps you come onto the Newtown map, the zombies version of it, um, through this little um, bunker in the corner here, so perhaps that is also a suggestion that that may be true, I'm not sure yet, but you can also see next to it the little uh, underpath where you can take your RCXD around the edge of the map so you don't get shot by any of the guns and then bring it into the opposing enemy spawn, so that's quite cool, some of you guys may have missed that. On screen here you can see a shot of the kill streak, the Warthog. This actually flies over the map, dropping artillery and shooting at um, enemies as well. It's really cool, it goes over the map a few times. One of the higher kill streaks in multiplayer. Here we can see an indoor look at the scar being used in multiplayer, shooting down some enemies as he looks down that corridor. I'm sure you recognize it from Black Ops 1. Here we get to look at one of the LMGs in use, shooting away at the back of the map, just where a lot of you guys will spawn in. There's two spawn points on either side of the town of course and this is one of them the next image here shows off the MP7. Of course, you guys will have seen the gameplay on my channel showing off a bit of MP7 action uh, in multiplayer on the map hijacked. If you haven't seen that, definitely check it out. But I've already explained to you guys that the MP7 in Black Ops 2 multiplayer is nowhere near as strong as it was in Modern Warfare 3. I think a lot of people initially will think it's really good and then will come to the realization it's not quite as good as it was in Modern Warfare 3. But moving on, the next image here actually shows a Hellstorm missile coming in. This is similar to a Predator missile, except it comes in as a, uh, a group and then once you choose to fire it completely it will break away into five or six different pieces and then you can drop it down as a sort of cluster bomb onto the map you can then uh, hit a wider radius but of course if you break it up too early it'll be weak and not very powerful so you've got to make sure you're timing that release of um, the Hellstorm missile at the right time to make it as efficient as possible as you can see here as well this is what a view looks like when you're actually using it the next image here I wanted to highlight because it actually shows um, a gun using the select fire option if if you listen out to the audio you can hear this. Normally this is a fully automatic assault rifle, so the assault rifle has been changed from fully automatic to single shot, which means you can have more accuracy at longer distances if you have that attachment on your gun. Next up here we get to have a look at a ground shot of that bunker I was talking about earlier. We'll have to see if that plays any part in the Newtown zombie map or if it's just there again for an aesthetic appeal and just there as a part of the visual look of the map. And then the final image here shows off one of the drone kill streaks. I believe this is the AGR drone which can be controlled and also left as a fully automatic AR controlled kill streak. I've actually called one of these in before. It's good fun using them running around the map shooting at enemies but then of course they can be left to their own devices if they so wish. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Shortly after this video goes live will be a new video talking about the Prestige Master Emblem so definitely check that out once that video goes live on my channel. If you've enjoyed the video hit that like button. Let me know again if you've pre-ordered Black Ops 2 or not. You can click on screen now to check out more videos. Thank you very much for watching guys subscribe if you're new to my channel and i'll see you very soon